Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Korikod in the state of Kerala, India. And we just drove, we're in the jungle. This is a beautiful location. And uh, Eben is taking us to this restaurant, but it's more like a home cooking stall in the jungle, village cooking. Uh, they're gonna make a uh, fish fry as well as a fish curry and also a very, specifically we came here to eat a type of uh, rice pancake which is cooked over a clay pan over a coconut shell. And so we're gonna see the process of them cooking. We're gonna walk around and I'm gonna share everything with you in this video. Namaskaram, Wanakam, Wanakam, Sastriakal. Sastriakal. Yeah. Namaskaram, Wanakam, Sastriakal. Namali Prasam, Kori 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 This is our this is our road, our yeah, turn. This is our yeah. So we're turning off the main road to a walking path. It's like a jungle canyon. Oh, this is beautiful. It's just this is such a nature paradise and I love the Arika palms because they're so slender and they just go so high. You can hear the sound of the birds and it is humid. Oh yes. <laughs> Namaskaram. Yes. He is the man. Namaskaram. This place is just absolutely gorgeous, surrounded by lush greenery, coconut palms, other palms, pepper vines are just going up the trees, and they have food. They're gonna be preparing at their home a fish curry, and then we're gonna watch Uncle as he makes uh, a type of like a pancake, and we're gonna get started cooking now. You can take first, Tiffany. Okay, this is the floor. Here. You're going to make kaipatri. Kaipatri means we can say pan pressed pancake. Uh, it's going to be cooked without oil, oilless cooking, wow. pan, uh, mud pan. And on it's the rice, rice uh, it's, paste. It's made of rice flour. He's going to make the dough from that. Okay. Hot water. We use hot water to mix, uh, uh, to the, net the dough. A rice based like a pancake, but I'm excited to see it as he makes the entire thing. First just rice flour, then he adds in hot water with some rock salt. Oh man. Chetin is the local name for an elder brother, so we'll call him Chetin. He, that skill, he just so, to finish off the dough, uh, he then kneaded it a little, a little bit, but also not too much because he wants to save that air to keep that texture, He know, uh, that, his experience. He's lighting the fire now. He's gonna be cooking over fire, but only fuel He's only, for fuel, he's only using coconut shells. Oh. He has just a stack of coconut shells, so as they burn at the front, then he'll keep pushing it forward. And now he's just burning off a, off a banana leaf, I think, too, for the pancake preparation. And then he uh, took a ball of the dough, he made it into a round, then he flattened it in his palm, but very like methodically, and then rounded it, rounded off the corners to make a perfect circle. And now he just put the clay pan onto the fire, he's waiting for that to heat up. So he's gonna start another one too. Awesome. And that's the power of the, the coconut, burning the coconut shell. It looks, it gives off a flame um, and it, it literally was even hissing like it was like almost like gas like like propane gas but that's just all natural that's the coconut shell and that's also why he uses it because of the power because of the the flame and heat it puts off and so that goes directly onto the clay pan and that she flipped it over and oh, 
That looks amazing. And then that cooking technique is incredible. It burns so hot and he just keeps on refilling it, just refilling it like cartridges, cartridges of coconut shells that he just pushes forward, pushes forward to fuel that fire to keep it hot like a jet engine. Yeah. Good thing they have no shortage of coconut shells here. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. So cool. What a man. You break this one a little bit. You eat and then break the puppet and join it. Oh, and you see that that amazing so yeah that amazing fire texture. Oh, the layers of it, and then break some of the puppet. Yeah. That is a combination <laughs> I've never seen before. Like that? Yes. Perfect. Mmm, but that rice is so gooey. It's almost like a porridge. Yeah. It's almost like a porridge, a fried porridge. Yeah. It gives the feeling of Kerala's <laughs> village. Yeah. Cool. I have enjoyed it many times before, but every time when I taste, I love it. Oh my gosh. The meter, meter chai, and he poured that so you get that frothy. Bubbly goodness. Oh, there's so many bubbles. It's so frothy. Can you like some of the What did you have on today? Oh, it's wonderful. It's 19 years old. He started 19 years ago. Yeah. He started this for the local people initially, mm -hmm. but nowadays people came to know about his this countryside cooking and people are coming here, they are loving it. We're in the middle of the jungle here, uh, so really just for the community, for the people to come here to have a cup of chai, to read the newspaper, to chat, um, and then with the support of his family, they started making curry, so they do serve lunch as well. The welcome, the hospitality, the warmth of this place is what makes it immediately. Uncle is, he is a legend. This is the tea house at the front and the dining room and then walk back here. This is their house, the actual family house through the areca nut palms, through the coconut trees. And this is where they are making the fish curry, which is gonna be, which we're next gonna eat with the, those rice pancakes. And this is for the breakfast also. It's uh, they boiled down cassava and purple yam um, and then mixed that with green green lentils, green lentils. And there were some other things in there as well. And then they, they poured that together, added in a bunch of curry leaves and they'll mash it together. And then when he starts mixing it and mashing it, you could see how the, the stickiness of the cassava and the purple yam start to come together. And she's about to fry something else now. No, she's going to make fish curry. Oh, she's going to make the fish curry? Yeah. She sizzled down some coconut oil, then a handful, two handfuls of fenugreek, um, and then some chopped onions and garlic and chilies. Stir frying that oil. Oh. That looks amazing in there. There's curry leaves and like a tomato. Ah, coconut paste. Oh, the aroma is coming out of here, the curry leaves. <laughs> she added in like just a heaping spoons of, of chili powder, turmeric, and any other spices she no. added in yet? Mainly that so far, and then added in some, uh, I think it was just water. Yeah, yeah? just water. Yeah, just water to, to simmer that down. Um, and now that's turning into a spice paste, but that Kerala spice paste blend. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, 
Okay, so the, the the fish that she's chopping right now is is for the fish fry, not yeah. for the fish curry. Okay, and she just sliced up the fish. I think there's a mix of both mackerel and some type of a sardine, sardine like a sardine, right? Talk about being generous with the spices. She added on into that fish. She added just like heaps of strong chili powder as well as cashmere chili. Let me try to recap. As well as cashmere chili powder for the for the color especially. Ground coconut, ground uh, coconut, ginger, garlic, also uh, green chilies. Oh. Is it so the other one is strong chili. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. That is gonna be insane. Okay. She said she's going to immediately, um, like, just not even really marinate it, just let it coat the fish and immediately fry that. They're lighting up the fire. They added coconut shells. <laughs> Insanely beautiful. They, she bumped up that fire. They poured on a layer of uh, coconut oil, let that sizzle, and immediately she put on the fish, the mix of fish, the mostly the mackerel. Oh, no way, she's now sprinkling on curry leaves, but she took like, she took that curry paste and just like wiped it onto the fish. More of coconut oil. So this is the fish? Yeah. Pre-boiled fish. Now it's just pre-boiled fish that goes into the curry. Yeah. Sardines. You can see that. Whole sardines. Dream worthy. The, both the fish fry and the fish curry. Just borderline unbelievable. The spices, the aromas coming out of that fire. And I'm crying right now, the smoke, the steam, but actually it's the overjoy of happiness. You know, how to eat these rose apples? During my childhood, I used to take with some rock salt into the rose apple, close it, That's and a just... sandwich. Mm. <laughs> I gotta try that. that Light salt, light salt, light sweet. Oh, I could make a little salt sandwich. Mmm, you got the taste of salt and sour and That's like sweet. a chutney in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Like a nut, like a, just a, an unmixed chutney. Okay, cool. You want to say something? Oh, what is Coriander and... So the curry, the curry they put, brought off the fire. The curry is ready. That is a that is a work of art of a curry. <laughs> she cannot believe the aromas coming off of this fish fry pan. All of that paste on each piece of fish before transferring it to the serving platter. And like I don't know if there's any possible aroma that could be better than that. And this batch is even more flavorful because the oil is already yeah it's already, it's already scented, yeah. infused, and also sardine will have more flavor. That is just absurdly beautiful. Yeah. Wow! I can't wait to eat. And people are starting to arrive now by the motorbike full. It is now it's 9 a.m. So it's like perfect breakfast time. I have never been so happy for a fish fry for breakfast in my life. And fish curry. <laughs> you come here often? You come here, every day. You come here often? Every day. Every day. Every day. Yes, yes. 
<laughs> he lives in his home. Okay. But still he loves to take food from here. Okay, very close and you just yes. come here every day. Okay. I I can tell you the breakfast the guys here you need to breakfast the guys you need to eat again come here now. ഇതാണോ നിങ്ങളുടെ എല്ലാ ദിവസവും ബ്രേക്ക്ഫാസ്റ്റ് അല്ല ബ്രേക്ക്ഫാസ്റ്റ് കഴിച്ചാലും വെറും ഒഴിവുള്ളവരെ പോകരുത് Even after his breakfast, he comes back here. He eats breakfast at home, he still comes here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't tasted the fish fry or the fish curry yet, but I can already guarantee you, if I lived in this area, I would be here every day too. Take care, have a good day. No, 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 no. Okay, so the first thing, they've given us banana leaf plates and then the first thing where he served us is the puruke. Puruke? Yeah, puruke. Puruke. That's the mashed paste of cassava, green lentils, and purple yam. Yeah, and the purple yam. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been so excited for breakfast in my life. We've got the, the cassava, then he served, I got the sardines actually, the fish fry sardines with just almost borderline insane amount of curry paste that she fried it in with the coconut oil, with the curry leaves, with crispy curry leaves. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. Oh, there's the complete meal. The best way to take this mashed potato is have a little bit of fish and this fish curry, the gravy. Pour it over. And that aroma of tamarind as well as chili, awesome. So you have to mix this. Yeah, after that, let's break a bit of fish, mackerel fry, and add it here. Mm. No, what I love here, the taste of tamarind with the mashed cassava as well as the yam. Awesome. With the spicing of, spiciness of the chili. Oh, that mash! It's like, it's sticky. You can feel the gumminess from the, the cassava especially and the yam too. Oh, wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. The caramelized coconut, the curry leaves, the ginger garlic in there. You cannot even explain that. Look how much curry paste is caked up onto the sardine. That's like a curry paste sandwich with fish as the bread. And then kind of pull off some of that fish from the side. Like if it's deep fried, you can eat the whole and then mix that fish into the, the cassava paste. Dude. And with that spicy curry, if you take some hot water, mm. it amplifies the spices. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, there's the amount of chili that she added into that fish. The ginger garlic. Oh, it's so gummy gooey. Take a bit of the fish curry. Fish, take a bit of the, the fish, and it's a mackerel also, right? Yeah. Or sardines, maybe sardines, right? This is sardines. Take a little bit into there. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tamarind in there. Yeah. That sour, immediate sourness, and the spiciness of that chili. Mm. And the curry leaves. And the coconut oil. And right the then. coconut oil. I knew it was gonna be good, just watching her make it. But the taste, it's even better than you would you think. It's just like mind-blowing flavor. You can definitely feel the chili in there. Like it's at a perfect, it's at a perfect level where it just kind of tingles your tongue exactly. You want to, you want that curry sauce to flow like a waterfall on your plate, continuously. Pour into your mouth. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I was just asking Eben if culturally if it's appropriate to to drink the curry from the from the the plate. He said it is appropriate. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> There's nothing I would rather end my meal with. What? What a what a breakfast. And just finishing with black tea to wash it all down. 
Yeah, that was <laughs> a bit. It gives that amplified feeling of the spice. <laughs> it does. Yeah, because yeah. Oh yeah, after taking that that curry sauce at the end and then the hot tea. It magnifies the flavors in your mouth. It magnifies the heat. <sighs> Better wipe my curry mustache too. Oh, that was. I'm still in disbelief how good that meal was. The amazing people behind it and this location. The parking lot. Awesome. From here, we're just gonna walk around the village, see some of the. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're gonna see. We're just gonna take a little walk. I love it here. Hey, and then we came off the path through the trees. It opens up here. These are the paddy fields, the rice paddy fields, with just an areca palm forest. So beautiful, so peaceful. And the pepper vines just blooming. Look at this, green peppers everywhere. This is one of my favorite things, spices, foods, natural ingredients in the entire world. <laughs> he went, he go, <laughs> Yes, I don't, so good. Oh, I love, you. this is just like a, a snack. You could just crunch on this all afternoon long. Oh man. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, another. Oh, that is a combo. Yeah, that wow. magnifies it. You can feel like just the heat, like like there's fire coming out of your mouth. Oh, I love peppercorns. I need another one. Dude, this is just a pepper snacking paradise. <laughs> oh wow. Look, look, it is, I mean, chilies, I love chilies, but pepper is a different kind of spicy sensation, and it burns like chilies as well. When you eat them fresh like that, man, that is good. That is, this is a pepper paradise. Oh, the sweat is just starting to pour. Um, and that's gonna wrap up this video and the, the nature here, the hospitality here, the family that took care of us, the uncle, this, the auntie, that fish curry, that fish fry, the cassava and the unique uh, rice pancakes served cooked over coconut shell. This was a fantastic, an incredible, food and cultural experience. And I wanna say a, first a massive thank you to Eben from Food and Travel TV, uh, who organized this, who show, shared this amazing place with us. I'll have his channel in the description box that you can check out. And if you haven't seen all the rest of this video, the videos of this Indian food tour in Kerala, um, I'll have the link in the description box. You can check it out below. Again, a big thank you for watching. Goodbye from Kerala, and I'll see you on the next video. And yeah, my mouth is burning. Ooh. Oh, the magnification. Ah, this is a stunningly beautiful place.